What's going on guys, your boy Amazing Cure back with another video and in today's video guys we're going to be discussing how you are able to actually get over 100 gems every single week on Grand Cross guys and this is just going to be by doing a bunch of normal things that you would be doing but maybe you are missing out on some other extra gems that you could be getting to actually get a ton more on a regular basis. So if you guys enjoy videos like this man, definitely make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we are on the road to that 50,000 subscribers. If you guys haven't hit that sub button already man, what are you doing? Make sure to hit that sub button. Now with that out of the way guys, let's talk about all the gem sources that you can get throughout every single week and it's going to be on a regular basis as well that you guys can claim and yeah, I mean we're going to be discussing how you're able to get over 100 every single week if you do all these things. Alrighty guys, so let's start with the first thing that's going to net you a bunch of gems every single week and that's going to be your daily task. So for your daily task guys, you're getting up to 4 gems every single day which calculates up to 28 per week. And that's something that's really like, you know, kind of slept on for a lot of people that they don't really do. But it's really easy to get these gem dailies done every day as all you have to do is play PvP, skip ticket your boss battle and you get both these missions done and you're good to go guys. And that's literally all the dailies you need to do to get up to four gems every single day and so i uh, already calculated it here on the calculator guys but four times seven equals 28 so we're at 28 gems right now and we will be uh, adding on to that now the next thing that's going to be very important is going to be your weeklies and in your weekly task you're going to be getting uh two gems right here which is going to be by uh playing demonic beast battle and then you're also going to get another two gems from your knighthood boss battle so what are we going to do we're going to add another four gems right there and so that's going to be 32 gems from your daily and weekly task alone per week so you're getting 32 gems every single week from your daily task weekly task now moving on from that if we actually back out of here you do also have your knighthood now your knighthood is dependent on if people check in so this is definitely a more uh kind of flexible thing guys if you get it or if you don't um but it is a uh, possibility and can add up to an extra seven gems a week i mean that's big right so let's just say we are getting those extra seven gems let's add seven gems and we're getting 39 let's see if we actually got it on global we did on on my uh, guild so there we go so now we are at 39 gems right there in terms of what we were able to calc for the full week and so now let's actually keep adding on top of that guys we still got more to do so the next thing is going to be your standard login so if you guys didn't know in your standard login you're always going to be getting 10 gems every single week you get five right here and you get five right here as well so we can actually add another 10 gems to our total amount and so now we're gonna be at 49 gems so we're halfway there guys already halfway there right that's really good all right so let's actually skip out of here and the next thing that we're going to go to is going to be PvP. And that's where we're going to get a majority of our gems is going to be by playing ungeared PvP. And for a lot of newer players, this is something that I highly advise that you do, especially when you're new in grinding PvP, because you're going to be getting a ton of gems for your account. Now, if you guys didn't know, the way ungeared PvP works is that you're going to be getting a certain amount of gems every single weekly reset. So as you guys see right here, because I'm in Champion 2, I'm actually going to be uh, getting 56 gems by the next end of, uh, end of this reset. So five days and nine hours from now, I will be getting 56 gems if I stay in Champion 2. And so if we were to calc, let's say you're in Champion 5, guys, right? If you're in Champion 5, that means you're getting 50 gems a week. So that means we can add 50 to our total and we are at 99 gems right there, right? That's insane. But what we could also do is let's say, okay, maybe you're a player that is grinding the game a lot more. Maybe you're getting, you know, maybe Champion 2 like I am or even Champion 1. That's going to be a fairly substantial increase too. So we'll take 49 again and we'll add, you know, we'll do the 56. Boom, that's 105 gems every single week on Grand Cross, guys, by you just playing the game. And that's not even doing anything out of the, like, out of the ordinary that you would normally be doing. It's your daily, weekly tasks, your login, your check-in, and then also your PvP every week. And that's just by logging in and collecting gems. Just, you know, something that is super underrated about Grand Cross, man, is that it's super gem friendly. Like, you get a ton of gems. And I mean, 105 gems, let's say, guys, every single week. If you're someone that's just lazy, stays in champ, champ one, champ champ two uh or uh, champ five champ four i mean right then you know you're still getting about 99 gems every single week which is very very good too i mean that's 100 gems a week right 
so yeah just something to take into account guys and again like you're obviously gonna have you know like events and stuff going on so when you have events going on you definitely want to be doing those so you're getting more gems too um you know another thing as well that's very important is when you're you know doing your special missions you always want to be doing these because this is going to net you a free multi on the banner which saves you 30 gems right so that is another very important thing and uh yeah i mean just a bunch of different ways you can get get uh get gems man um i think efrit had some uh oh no not on the clear reward i think it was in the uh no it's in the soul soldier's reward dungeon sorry yeah so the soldier's reward dungeon you do gain gems from uh doing the specific one i think it changed recently though uh let's see did it change uh, I have to actually check here. Let's see. Um, I think it did change guys. Yeah, so it's now engraving stones Sometimes when this event is available it is gems and that is obviously another seven gems that week So there's so many other ways guys that you can get gems in Grand Cross But these are just the main ways that I recommend that you do every single week So you're getting over a hundred gems man and that is just you know the way to do it, you know for sure man Um, yeah that is pretty much how I'd go about it, guys, in terms of collecting gems on Grand Cross. A really good way to do it, and uh, yeah, it's very simple. It's just your daily stuff you would normally be doing, man. It's very, very easy, guys. I highly recommend doing it, and uh, yeah, I guess one last tip I will add as well. If you're very down bad on gems, and you just really need gems right now, there is technically an infinite source of gems that you can get, and that actually just requires you uh, to make gear. And, you know, making gear is kind of expensive depending on the, the type of gear. Um, but you're only able to do it for SSR gear to get the gem. And you have to do at least the Awakening tier of 5. You do not have to do Enhanced tier at all. You can leave this at 0. But you do have to do Awakening tier 5 for you to be able to get the full amount. Um, so you can get a gem every single time. So as an example here, I'm doing this right here. And I do this, uh, you know, uh, what is it? A necklace right here. And we max it out to awakening tier 5 it's gonna say acquired a reward for reaching tier 5 awakening on ssr equipment and that's gonna net me one gem right there so again guys you know i mean this 100 gems that's 100 gems right there if you make a gear piece every single week if you're champion 5 you're doing your dailies you're logging in you're doing your weeklies all of that combined would actually net you 100 gems on the dot if you're a champion 5 uh kind of player man which i think is pretty insane man the fact that you're able to do that guys that's over three multis every single week and just by you playing the game as you normally would and probably not doing anything different than you normally would either this is just things you're you're doing on the regular guys so yeah man let me know what you guys think in the comment section below did you guys know that you're able to get this much gems every single week i'm telling you man grand cross is one of those games that's super free to play friendly you get a ton of gems every single week and yeah i mean that just goes to show you like you know logging in every week and getting 50 gems minimum just by you doing your pvp every day i mean that is in my opinion one of the uh main reasons why i started playing the game and it's just absolutely insane man just uh, over 100 gems a week so yeah guys that's going to be it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and i'm gonna see you guys on the next one man peace out have a good rest of your day guys see you later man